Welcome to Philip Highlights. I'm Emilia, and I'll be serving you the latest news of the week. Your news, our business. U.S. services gauge rises unexpectedly on business activity surge. The Institute for Supply Management's gauge of services rose to 56.5 last month from 54.4 in October, according to data released Monday. Readings above 50 signal growth and the median projection in a Bloomberg survey of economies was 53.5. The surge in business activity pushed the index, which parallels the ISM's factory output gauge, to the highest level since the end of 2021. Britain's natural gas is still flowing to mainland Europe at a time when the fuel would typically be kept at home, underlining the country's key role in keeping the continent warm this winter. UK flows through the interconnector pipeline to Belgium, the biggest of the two links between the regions, are the highest for the time of year since at least 2016. That is unusual for December, when exports normally stop or even reverse as it gets colder and UK hitting demand jumps. The rally in US-listed Chinese stocks continued as easing COVID curbs in major Chinese cities fueled optimism that Beijing is speeding up the shift away from its zero-COVID strategy. The Nasdaq Golden Dragon China Index of 65 US-listed Chinese stocks climbed 1.6%, adding to the gain of 22% last week. Stocks that stand to benefit strongly from reopening such as internet giants and online travel agencies also gained. Foreign investors net sold 6.3 billion ringgit worth of local bonds by trimming their holdings to 248.7 billion ringgit, equivalent to 13.3% of total outstanding bonds in October, and September was 13.7%. It was the second consecutive month of net foreign selling, although considerably larger compared with September's 439 million ringgit, according to MARC rating Berhad's statement on 5th December. As a result, cumulative foreign flows year-to-date dip deeper into negative 7.9 billion ringgit. That's all for today. Stay tuned for the next Philip Highlights. This update is brought to you by Philip Capital, your partner in finance.